Immunoglobulin genes are composed of separated segments of DNA that become joined together by a process called somatic recombination to make a functional gene. In heavy chain genes, there are three gene segments, the variable, or V segment, a diversity, or D gene segment, and the joining, or J segment. Light chain genes, such as those shown here, have only two gene segments, the V and the J segments. Gene segments that can be recombined have specific sequence motifs adjacent to them, called recombination signal sequence, or RSS, motifs. A protein complex containing the products of the recombination activator genes, RAG1 and RAG2, binds specifically to the RSS motifs. In this example, flanking a V gene segment and a J gene segment. The individual gene segments, to whose flanking RSS motifs the RAG protein complexes bind, are selected at random from a number of copies present at each gene locus. The RAG protein complexes bring together the gene segments to be recombined and cleave the DNA exactly at the junction of the gene segment and its adjoining RSS motif. The cleavage creates a hairpin of DNA at the end of the gene segments, and double-stranded breaks at the ends of the RSS motifs. Additional proteins, DNA-dependent protein kinase, Ku, Artemis, and a dimer of DNA ligase and XRCC4 are incorporated into a large complex with the RAG proteins. These RSS ends are joined, forming what is called the signal joint to create a closed circle of DNA that plays no further role in the recombination process. The DNA hairpins at the ends of the gene segments are then cleaved. An additional enzyme, terminal deoxynucleotidal transferase, or TDT, is recruited and adds additional nucleotides to the ends of the DNA strands. The other enzymes in the complex ligate together the two ends of the gene segments, completing the recombination process.